Okay, you guys, <clears throat> don't mind the hair or anything. I just finished doing my makeup, and I want to go film it inside the dressing room with you guys. Um, again, don't mind any of this. But I just decided to put the camera on real quick because I need you guys' help with something. Um, so I did a liner today. And whenever I do a liquid liner, like I never do my makeup like this on a Saturday. I just, for some reason, I just got like all whatever and did a liquid liner. Whenever I do, and I really like the way like my eyeliner turned out today. But whenever I do a liner like this and I go to put on my mascara, my mascara always goes clumpy because I always manage to get like liquid liner on my top eyelashes. So if anyone has a solution for that, because I was like applying mascara like coat after coat and they, they I never get like the height on my mascara and on my lashes when I do liner because there's always like bits of like liner that's been and I've been like picking at them and trying to separate them and like I need help you guys so if anyone has a solution let me know um I'm gonna finish getting ready now okay first stop today is a Chanel. um actually my first stop was Starbucks I have never had this before this is well I had it one other time this month but this is only like the second time this in like a whole month that I've actually like drank my calories and this is uh, a skinny cinnamon dolce from Starbucks it's really good it's sugar-free which is important for me and um, yeah so it's really good generally like I drink coffee every day but generally I don't like sugar in my coffee I just drink it with a little bit of milk or a little bit of cream but sometimes like if I'm like as like a specialty coffee or like a treat I don't mind something like flavored and like you know like a cappuccino or something a little bit more whatever so this is actually really good and I figured I would have it again because I didn't make coffee this morning and I always need to have my caffeine every day still because otherwise I get headaches I've mentioned that many times so I'm also at additional I don't know if they have any sales going on or anything special I did not plan this out because I haven't even been shopping I haven't been in store anywhere since before Christmas after Christmas I have not been anywhere uh, so I don't know what's going on inside here but I was also thinking about hitting up maybe Old Navy maybe Marshall's uh, I wanted to maybe go to the Bay as well um, Pennington's possibly I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna go everywhere or get everywhere today but I thought I would start here just because whatever it was close to Starbucks so uh, we're gonna go inside but I think I might finish this because I don't want to carry it around in there so I'll see you guys when I get inside all right so here we are in the dressing room I found some really cute pieces and I was impressed we are going to revisit the denim shirt dress in this video stay tuned um, I found some jeans I found some really cute tanks and I found some dresses so I was feeling hopeful I was like okay this is gonna go well um, and yeah so first thing I tried on was this pair of um, love and legend acid wash skinny jeans and I grabbed them specifically because they're love and legend and love and legend is generally not cut for a pear shape so I wanted to try them just to see if they would fit because their jeans generally don't fit me and I was surprised they did fit they were roomy like they were they were the right size they just didn't come quite high enough in the back they sat nice and high-waisted in the front but they just didn't cover my butt all the way to my waist in the back but I was still impressed I have lost some weight lately um, and so I was just curious. I was curious to see how it, you know, how they fit. And I was surprised. They were also on sale. So that was really good. I did not buy them, though, because they didn't, they, they, they weren't quite right. This cardigan was really cute. I kind of regret not picking it up. But then again, I didn't want to spend that much for just a cardigan. And also because it was a 3X, I probably could have done with a 2X because it was a little too big in the arms. But um, I just wanted to try I just wanted to try these cardigans are always really great for throwing on over like bodycon I always like to have uh, lots of cardigans just for that reason uh, for the office and everything else but they're just great like layering and to throw on whatever but it's coming to spring eventually and I was like yeah no I don't need it so I didn't get it but these tanks were super cute so I definitely definitely I'm gonna have to keep my eye on the website I love that crisscross detail across the front I just think it's so cute and the olive color with the black floral print super super cute I just I don't know I really like these tank tops um, 
I think it, they'll look really good in the spring and in the summer over a pair of jeans, just really casual. Uh, and of course you can layer them as well and wear them under a jacket or under a cardigan or whatever. But, uh, but I really like them. This one, the olive one was in a two X. I'm going to show you that right away. But the next one I try on, is like this pink and black floral one. And this one is in a one X and it actually, I, I think it fits better because it fits better up top and it's not quite as long at the bottom so it actually looks better with a pair of jeans at this length as opposed to the other one I think the 2x would have looked really good with leggings but this I think just works better with a pair of jeans and yeah I just I like both of them like I can't I don't know I'm gonna have to like wait for the sales because uh, yeah I really like them one thing I will point out though just for the purposes of this try on is that I uh, I'm wearing a strapless bra and so the girls aren't quite as high as they maybe could be if I was wearing a different bra so I had to like keep that in the back of my head especially when I tried on this shirt this wasn't really my cup of tea like I don't know where I would ever wear this like I don't I don't know it it's really cute like it's got some like cute like bell sleeves it's got like a little lace detail on the back it is really cute and it's got like a little bit of like a a ruffled at the shoulder like a little bit of a you know what I mean uh, you guys know what I mean but it's just not this was the not I think this was a 1x so very generous and very like roomy in their tops with love and legend uh, but just not my particular style but it is a really really cute shirt so if you like it more power to you go pick up the shirt because it's really really cute um, yeah, so that was great. What am I moving on to next? I'm uh, out of practice with these voiceovers, you guys. Like, I run into things to say and I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, this dress. Okay, so I like this dress a lot. I just wish I had grabbed it in a three as opposed to, or yeah, as opposed to a two. I'm trying it on in a two. And if I had grabbed it in a three, I think it just would have fit so much better because it was just a little bit clingy around the middle. It fit really well up top, but it was a very like stretchy jersey fabric. So I think it would have, um, you know, it would have worked just fine um, up top because it's stretchy, even in a three. And it would have just flowed so much better, um, like the bottom. I know it's just so pretty. Like I just, I'm gonna have to, like I said, I'm gonna keep stocking the website for sales because I really like it, especially looking back. Um, I really like this dress. I think it's really pretty and it would just, it's, I don't know, it's just, it would be a great dress just to throw on with a pair of sandals in the spring and like a denim jacket and you know, I'm good. I'm good. So yeah. And the pattern was really pretty on it. And the olive color of course is just like universally flattering on pretty much everybody as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, the floral print was really nice on that one. This one as well, I really like this dress. This was um, a little bit more of like a traditional wrap, even though it was still a faux wrap. Um, it just, it, I don't know, it just, it just fits so well. And the, I really like the fabric on it because it was a little bit heavier. So it was like a little bit of a heavier polyester. So it just hung really nicely and just like, um, you know, just like fell really nicely over the body, which I think is just, you know, really important with dresses like this especially like spring and summer dresses that it's nice if they're a little bit like of a heavier fabric because they're not just gonna like whip up in the wind like nothing right so I appreciate that in a dress and so this one is really really pretty and um, I think like but like this one and the olive colored one I'm I'm really thinking uh, when they have a sale, I really might go back for them unless I find something else in the meantime that I like better before the spring, but I just, I just think they're really pretty. And I was impressed, I was happy. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, because, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised at additional this time. This was kind of interesting. So this was like a um, pinafore style dress and I grabbed this like purple t-shirt to throw on underneath to kind of like show you guys how you can style it um, and I liked it except I just don't know if I would have gotten a lot of use out of it and also I grabbed it in a 3x because the you know in order for it to like fit right you know 
around the middle and everything. Um, a three I figured would be better, but then it was a little bit, bit too big on top and you couldn't really adjust those straps. I wouldn't have wanted to adjust it higher anyway. It just, it they were just falling off and they just, I don't know, it just, it looked like it just didn't quite fit right, but it was cute and I think that this would just look super cute on so many people. Maybe if I was like a little bit taller, I think, I don't know. I don't know, like looking back, I'm like, it's cute, but I just don't know if I would have really, if I would really wear it very often. But yeah, but I really like that it had pockets because that's always a bonus, especially with something, a dress like this. Um, it just, well, pockets help everything. So yeah. And then I just wanted to show you guys the t-shirt that I put on or that I was wearing underneath it because just to show you like the fit this is I think the Michelle studio it's called the modern tea I think that's the name of it and I really like the cut this is in a 1x I think if I were to have grabbed this t-shirt to wear with jeans like I'm showing you here I would have probably grabbed it in a two um, but this just shows you how it fits and I love that rounded hemline I think it's so flattering and I think it's just like it's so like pretty much on anybody but I love how this t-shirt just kind of like hugs your curves I think it does it in a really like nice like flattering way and of course keep in mind too like the lighting in these fitting rooms are atrocious like you, unless you're in a fitting room all day long you know the light isn't going to hit every little bump and lump the way it does in the fitting room so I always try to keep that in the back of my mind whenever I'm filming these because you know it's a thing we all know it's a thing anyway <laughs> so this is the denim shirt dress and of course again it did not fit it was a size 22 um, it was too big on top and did not quite fit around the middle but I figured it would look really cute as like a trench so I styled it as a trench and it I think it works I think it works as a trench and like trench coats are super in right now and so I don't know I just think it would I don't know it's just it looks super cute like that um, of course like I don't really have a need for it um, not to say I don't have a need for a trench coat because I do I just don't know if I would want one that I know doesn't quite do up and I would have probably have to size down to have it fitting properly up top so it's a whole thing anyway I wanted to show you guys these boots because I found these they were like the floor model those are the only ones they had left they were marked down from like 140 to like 60 bucks or something or whatever they were 60% off and I love the way they laced up in the back because you can adjust them and for me I need to adjust them more for like a wider calf and a thinner ankle and so for that reason these worked out really well I had to replace a very similar pair that I have like this because they had gotten all ruined from like salt stains and stuff so I needed a replacement and these were crazy on sale so I figured I couldn't pass it up so I grabbed them I actually almost even like walked out of the store wearing them but I didn't um, I caught myself just in time which is great All right. well that was fun and um, <laughs> I managed to act, you know what I really liked um, pretty much everything I tried on um, everything fit really well I was so surprised about the love and legend jeans as I probably future me has probably talked about that in my voiceover I'm betting so the Love and Legend jeans, I'm surprised because generally Love and Legend is not cut for pear shape. They're cut very, their jeans are cut very straight. Most of their clothing is cut very straight. So the fact that I like fit into a 24, no problem. And they were actually, you know, comfortable and like even a little loose in the waist was surprising. Um, so that was good. Um, yeah, I just didn't, uh, I, I, I didn't buy anything except for the boots because I just needed to replace the ones that I had from last year. I had the almost the exact same uh, pair. They were just a little bit different, but because of the winters and our, the harsh climate here and salt stains and all that, you know, boots never last. So I wanted to get a replacement, a new pair that, you know, when it's still, I, I'll do my very best never to wear them when it's mucky out. That's my goal. And unfortunately, like with the temperatures kind of rising a little bit, that's might not be for a while. But I think I can still get some use out of them in the spring. 
Um, and then if I, you know, whatever, they'll, they'll work really great in the fall as well. I love the, the lace up in the back because that just is perfect for, you know, if you have like smaller ankles and like a big calf, it's perfect because you can still, you can like loosen them so that they're comfortably loose on your calves and that way they won't drop because that's always the thing with wide calf boots with me. Anyway, yeah. So that was a success. I really, yeah, that was great. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, all those pieces, you know, additional, as I've mentioned so many times when I do inside the dressing rooms there, they can be pricey, but you know, wait till, wait till there are sales, like find stuff and then just scour the website. You can buy everything online. And I think that's what I might do because you know, that the floral, the black and white floral wrap dress I thought was super cute. Uh, and also the olive green one. If I had just sized up to a three, I think I would have liked it even more. Uh, yeah, because it would have probably fit just a little bit better. But yeah, everything, everything, you know, in there. I, I, I mean, there was so much stuff I didn't even try, but you know, I can't try everything. Anyway, I think this is enough for one video. I, if I do end up somewhere else, it'll be a separate video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my Inside the Dressing Room Edition now. I have not done one of these in a while, but yeah, it was good. It was good. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. Bye.